Hello to YouTubers, subscribers, and all that. Uh, I've had to write some notes down because it's, it's a long one. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. And thanks. Uh, very quickly, I haven't posted much this year. For that, I do apologise. Next year will be better, but I'm not making any promises. <laughs> um, what you're about to watch is a very small bunch of clips, footage, what I've had, and I've never put them in a video. So. Right, we'll get started. Part one is uh, Mimi, partner, my daughter, went to a campsite in the Langdales, I forget what the campsite's called, um, in the Lake District. And this is what you better watch, so enjoy. And I'll see you when you watch this bit. <laughs> Right, so I'm back. Uh, you're about to see part two. Sun bright, so excuse us from squinting. Uh, again, these are very small pieces of footage. Next one is uh, my partner Maxine and my new 4x4 Suzuki Grand Vitara. Uh, with me driving, we took her to Green Lane in over Slaley Way. Uh, brilliant time, had fun. So I uh, hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you uh, part three. But again for part three, give me little snippets. I hope you're enjoying them. I uh, will get around to the, do better videos. Um, you'll see in the description, I think I've put a few things in there, so please read the description as well. Right, so um, this one, this one was a nightmare. God, uh, definitely blogging about this, this trip. I planned. I'm totally unfit, I've only done like one hill this year, so totally hill unfit. Here, uh, I haven't liked it yet to wild camp in nearly a year. So this was a wild camp feel. 
reason being, uh, I just drove up and I've even given a thought about how big Helvellyn is if you're unfit like me. As I say, uh, apart from what the dog, I've done very little in the world of like hiking or wild camping in the fells. So uh, as I was driving over the lakes, I thought to myself, even though you've planned Helvellyn, just do a little, like, you know, just a small hill. Uh, a couple of small hill. I think it's uh, near now. Is it great? I'm not sure anyway. Uh, drove past it. I thought, keep me plan. So I, I got up Helvellyn. I made it. I don't know how I made it. Because my legs was just aching. I was cramping. Oh, it, was just a, it was just a nightmare. Total nightmare. No footage whatsoever. I've got a bit of my phone, a little bit on my DSLR, fill of your own, uh, like my food. Just had that. Then I uh, had to come down. Uh, reasons I'm not going to go into. Uh, starting work at 5 o'clock in the morning. Well, sorry, stopped at 6, got up at 5. Uh, hiking that, well, driving over there it was a two hour drive. Hiking up, I think it took us, I don't know, two or three hours, I think it was. I'm not sure. Again, uh, read the description. Uh, I'll probably put a link to the blog as well so you can read about it. Uh, just going home was just scary. <laughs> uh, honestly, with me. But, uh, I hope you enjoy this one and I'll catch you on part four. <laughs>
at Brockwell Woods uh, in the northeast with a family, two friends, Ben and Tony. Uh, if you're watching Ben and Tony, thanks for your company lads. Brilliant night we had. Um, purchased a lump of brisket from the farm, uh, cooked in the Dutch oven over the fire, had a few drinks, great company, it was a total pleasure. Can't remember these two lads. Uh, picking up the brisket. If you've been at Brockwell, like I have many times, never bought any beef from them until the last time I was there. But you're going to watch the footage of. Again, I didn't get any footage. Uh, oh, the meat was beautiful. So uh, if you're going to go, order some meat. Uh, Steph will defrost it for you for your arrival. Beautiful. I definitely recommend the brisket. So uh, thanks for watching. And, uh, see ya. Not on part five. It's the end of the video. <laughs> right. So, so I brought well, got the trusty old faithful French army, ex army tent. I wasn't sleeping in that, I was sleeping in my hammock. There yeah, she's there. I had uh, Ben and Tony last night, we all sat around the fire chilling. That's hence why, again, no videos. Uh, see a bit of smoke going off the fire, it's a little bit warm. I have to put some more water on it and then clean it up. Tripod by Kev. I had that top there as a breezer to keep all the wind because the wind was coming from the fields. You can see behind, the wind was cutting through there, it was pretty, uh, pretty cold. Got the four before. Yeah. I don't think we're getting through and or down here in the car because it's very muddy. Uh, it's just been beautiful being lying in my hammock for a good couple hours. Gonna get the bacon on now. Uh, just listening to me. <laughs> I had just anybody who's like thinking about going to Brockwell, my battery's gonna run out so I'll do it quick. I've never had meat from them. Yeah, so I decided, oh well, you know, I love my meat, as you're probably aware. So I got some brisket cooked in the Dutch oven. Oh, absolutely. If you're going to book well, buy your meat there as well. Put it in your email when you're booking up. And she'll, uh, if, it's, if it needs defrosting, she'll defrost it for you. Can it, can it rate it enough? The brisket was beautiful. Value for money as well. So can it, can it come with that? Uh, so I, not, not, not a large video, I might just stick this in there. In a video of that, maybe bits and pieces of camps because I haven't done any footage. But yeah, I'm, I'm all healthy and well. If you've ever been missing this, um, hopefully they do. I'm still on with the wood one from the summer, <laughs> so yeah, that might have just gone up. And this one probably follows very quickly. Uh, it's just nice to get out camp without videoing. So I think I've had a, a bit of a break from it all. Hence why you get more videos. But uh, I will, I will continue to make videos, I think. Uh, but not all the time. But yeah, I'm still getting out. Uh, usually, you'll see a few pictures on Instagram. So if you're not following us, Vickley Man Films on Instagram. Uh, www.vicklymanfilms.co.uk, I think it is, or .com, one of the two. <laughs> Just check it out, that's my blog. Again, I don't post much on it, but now and again, I'll have a little rant or put some pictures up of the camp. So there you go, I think I've ruffled enough, two two minutes and something there. But uh, yeah, give you one more last look. I'll just be picking that plane up. We are very close to Newcastle Airport, so... Ben and Tony were camped down in number six down there. But uh, yeah, brilliant. I'll see if I've got enough battery to get a bit of footage of there. The drive out. <laughs> So you've watched the video. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. 
again it's, uh, it's just been snippets of footage uh, what I'm going to try next year is more quality than quantity I'm not just going to post for the sake of posting you know uh, if you get one in a month if you get one two or three months that's what that's what I'm aiming for but the quality is going to be there instead of just tossing videos up uh, the crap so you know and I'm trying to build my videos here um, right so basically that's it for 2016 for me on YouTube just a quick thank you for all of your subscribers for people who subscribe new old uh, commenting especially commenting and liking my videos uh, I'm not going to put any negativity in, you know. Uh, you know, well, if you don't know, you know about all the, the dislike and things and that. And, uh, YouTube you need to get rid of that button uh, because people don't know how to use it properly. Um, it's past Christmas now. I was, this was going to be for Christmas, and as usual, it's <laughs> a bit late. So I hope you all had a good Christmas. Yeah, I did a brilliant one, absolutely excellent. Um, so that's it. So uh, all the best for the new year. Uh, hope you have a good one. Don't get too too drunk. And uh, I'll see you in 2017. All the best.